it's us and never them. It's never them. In my bag, you wasn't with me in the gym. Falling on them, think I've been through rim. Too many artificial, she wants something real. She looking for truth, I gave her red pills. I keep going up, I'm headed for the hills. Wake up in the morning, get some fruit and see moss. Gotta love my women, it's divine, it's the law. I'm fighting to the finish, we gon' win a draw. Bossed up on them, now they wanna sit with y'all. Pussy nigga thought he went against me, then he lost. Tryna let his lifestyle, must ain't no way cost. Work hard for everything I got, I'm the boss. Riding through LA in a red martial fall. How they riding with you, they ain't take the wall. I ain't fucking with you, cause your vibes is all. I'm judging off your actions, you ain't even gotta talk. The fuck going on? Thought 
he went against me, then he lost. Trying to live this lifestyle, must ain't no way cost. Work hard for everything I got, I'm the boss. Riding through LA in a Ram Marshall Fox. How they riding with you, they ain't take the wall. I ain't fucking with you, cause your vibes is all. I'm judging off your actions, you ain't even gotta talk. Can you find them like the kid in the store? I ain't a star. She already know who I am. She said this is song BT Jam. Late night it's me and her adult swim. She hit a night, but she be gone by 8 a.m. I'm smash, you know it's us and never them. In my bag, you wasn't with me in the gym. Falling on them, think I bent the rim. All right, y'all. I don't got my goddamn. Turn it off. Hold on. All right. Can everybody hear me out there? Hopefully, y'all can hear me out there. There I go. Hopefully, everybody having a uh, a decent Thursday. Um, I guess it's gonna be kind of throwback Thursday. That's what I should have called this joint on these stories. I'm gonna give y'all. But uh with that being said, if you watched my live stream earlier, you probably caught a little bit of what happened today. Um, I'm actually upset that I forgot some names on there. Uh, because they definitely deserve to have been said on there. Um, but with that being said, if not one thing y'all realize today, uh what watching the live is you should basically see that. Uh, our, our woman educational level is really low, you know, and it's really sad, honestly, but the educational level in our woman has drastically declined. It has declined so much that not only do they not understand their actions, but their friends, uh, uh, I guess, don't either. So it's hard for them to comprehend why men are even caring that they have their clothes off, right? I'm closer than a bitch. Hold on. I'm way too close to this. Y'all couldn't even see my damn mouth. <laughs> but with that being said, um, it just really shows the educational level of them. And not only that, they're so confused in life that once men do start caring and do start telling them, hey, don't do this because it's going to you're looked at as, whoa, oh, my gosh, she's trying to interrupt my peace. <laughs> Like I, this new generation is crazy, y'all. Pray for the children because they have to grow up with these people. Um, now, with that being said, um, that's okay. You can put it right there. With that being said, y'all, goddamn, um, we could probably put it up. Appreciate it, boo boo. Um, what was I gonna say? Goddamn, sorry, y'all. Um, earlier today, um, as far as with the complications that I was having with people going live about me and et cetera. Um, I have it's a couple names that I'm gonna speak on today, and a couple things I'm gonna clear up. Number one, OT Gary does not do coke, he does not do any type of drug like that. He only smokes weed, a lot of weed. So, for any uh misconceptions, he just smokes a lot of weed. Also, um, with the Fifi story, so I guess Fifi getting sent stuff and all type of other stuff. Fifi did not have no sex for no money, okay. She wasn't going to have sex for no money, okay? She, I, I just had to clarify that, I guess, if people really thought she did or whatever for money. Um, no, just the sequence of events happened that way, meaning, like, it went the car thing, and then we just went straight to McDonald's and then back to the house. So you get what I'm saying? It's not that she did it for the McDonald's or she was doing nothing for the McDonald's. You get what I'm saying, I guess. So just wanted to clear that up. Um, but... As y'all can see, though, um, Keilano did have a past, okay? And a lot of these same women that um, act as if I'm such a bad guy, as y'all can see, they didn't think that before, you know? So <laughs> they only think I'm a bad guy now because I don't hype them up over, like, back when I was a single man and, you know, I was really doing me. 
I will hype them up on those things, right? Just like single men do, right? They post a twerk video, a hey, you 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 snapped or fire or anything. You get what I'm saying? That's what happens. You dig what I'm saying? So I was cracking them. With that, I cracked Jessica Zimzak. All right, Jessica Zimzak always in somebody comment or or some hating on me. No matter if they live or make a status about me, Jessica is in it. Jessica is mad because she used to date Manny Manny, okay. And while she was dating Manny Manny, uh, I used to hit her up. You feel what I'm saying? She won't she won't respond. She was one of them type joints. One day Jessica wrote me back, and that day was my lucky day. When Jessica wrote me back, I had my brother. Um, some of y'all know him as Keys. I, I would just call him his normal name, I guess. Some of y'all know him as Keys, some might know him as Cold Kid Keys, however you might look at him. All right, but his name is Keys. He draw he 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 came and picked me up. I was riding with him, and he went and we was at the bar down there on like West Third Street. And then Jessica hit me up and said she she I could she free tonight. Do I want to kick it or whatever? Bingo! I was in the door. I had my brother go scoop her up. My brother we took us back to the bar. He was in a bar, so I took a little walk with her. Was walking down like six, Second Street. I was asking her what she want to be when she got older and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure she said she wanted to be a teacher. And her friends may notice to know I'm telling the truth. She will be a teacher. So I gave her about 15, 20 minutes. I had to wait for him to come out the bar. And then my, my, my brother and them came out the bar. And guess where he took us? To the red roof. He took us right over to the red roof. You know it was going down when we got to the red roof. When we got to the red roof, got down. As soon as we got in there, we was probably in there less than an hour before I start going in, you know what I'm saying? I gave her a good old 20 seconds in that joint. So when we was in there, she was on some stuff like, you, you, I'm not letting you hit. Like, you, you already know if a girl started coming off the dribble, like, I'm not letting you hit. She either used to getting hit or she been around. What do you mean? I'm not, you're not letting me hit. Like, why did you even inference that? Like, why did you even put that out there? Like, you know what I'm saying? I never sweated that. So, fellas, if they mention that to you, don't sweat that. It's the game is the game. If you got real game, you ain't got to worry about a thing. You did. So when we got up in there, uh, boom, she said we weren't doing nothing. So we got to land in a hotel bed or whatever, a motel bed. And when we was landing there, I already knew once you lay your lips on somebody, it's a wrap. Gave her a little smooch. It was over with. You feel what I'm saying? So um, I put her in a full Nelson for like five to ten seconds. Uh, we had switched over and stuff like that. And then I had I had broke her back for a good 40 seconds or something like that. Uh, it was a quick night for the kid that night. But she been upset ever since. You feel what I'm saying? So she always act like we got this problem or this and that. She went lots of physical. Uh, nothing happened. Nothing happened. And listen, I don't know what's going on with Shorty, but she 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 get around. You get what I'm saying? Like. She, then she want to come back and spin this thing as if me and her got some type of issue. We don't got no issue. You just got cracked. And you happen to be the baby mom of somebody who didn't like me. So she wanted to go hard and saying she didn't do nothing with me because she know her boyfriend and I was not seeing eye to eye. And I just whooped him down at the water. So she was trying her hardest to defend and say nothing happened between us. Nothing happened. So with that being said, Jessica Zim's like, we don't need you to fall back. No, 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 no. We're going to need you to have several seats. You did what I'm saying? So with that being said, let's keep going. We got Austin Barber. OK, Austin Barber. I didn't see a comment earlier, um, Austin, but you decided to goddamn. Somebody said you said something like I needed to get my hair done. No, listen, Austin Barber, you need to take notes. You see my lining? You see my lining? You see my forehead? Your forehead is a lot higher than mine's. So you're going to need to let your hair grow in or your line ain't going to keep going back, brother. That's what's going to happen. So instead of worrying about me getting my hair done, because I'm I'm pretty, uh, you feel what I'm saying? I'm groomed pretty well. You did what I'm saying? You see all these stories. I got Austin Barber. You feel what I'm saying? Your girl, she is trying to put you in jail and with straps and you was having to fight cases over your baby moms because they ain't. I never had to deal with that, you know? regardless of how a woman felt about me, she respected me enough to never call the police. So when you start laying that game right, um, uh, Austin Barber, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna have them issues, man. But yeah, man, you was worried about throwing somebody. So I said, what did Austin say? And yeah, Austin, guess what as well? Amari got caught with another fake chain. Didn't I tell you? 
Then I tell you, you won't hear defending him, talk about this and that. He's a capper. He put on that huge chain. He was out there with Cheyenne Wilson. You dig what I'm saying? Cheyenne Wilson was all in this video with that big old fake chain on. You dig what I'm saying? Guess what? About a week later, he drops the chain. Somebody picks it up or whatever, allegedly. And they have the chain. And they said that chain was faker than a mug. They couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it. You feel what I'm saying? So he going to need to get his life together. Not only does Austin support this, but his mother supports this. They just support him being a capper. I even saw him on a streets tea interview and every, he was just capping about everything. Acting like he's this street nigga and you're not like that. You're a capper. You want to be a street nigga. I don't know why your parents should have taught you better. I don't know why you want to be a fake street nigga. You know what I'm saying? Got all these fake ops. He was in an interview talking about he sold out shows. You ain't never sold out a show in your life. What is a sold out show? How many people were there? <laughs> these niggas be lying. They should have said, oh, you sold out a show? How many people were there? <laughs> these niggas just be lying, want to live a fake reality, all right? They want to live my life so much. If anybody tells you they sold out a show, tell them to go live. These same people can't go live and get 40 people to tap in. And they, they talk about, I sold out a show. Stop the cap, man. Y'all don't got to lie. Listen, and I'm going to tell you why dudes lie. They lie because they trying to get this fake this fake image to girls. You feel what I'm saying? But the girls they be trying to get the image from be worthless. You did what I'm saying? They really do. Um, But with that being said, y'all, yeah, he got caught again lying. Something wrong with the boy. He need to go see a therapist, a doctor, or something. But there ain't no reason he should be lying like that for a fake image. He want to try to be a rapper so bad. He want to sell his soul so bad, y'all. He cannot wait for somebody to come up to him and say, listen, man, you can you, you can sell your soul. All you got to do is paint your nails and stuff, man. I, we can get you some million dollar deals, man. He going to be like, what? He going to start looking around. Are you serious? Are you serious? Man, he going to sign that deal so motherfucking fast. He going to go to that P. Diddy party so fast. Do you feel what I'm saying? And they be mad because I can already peep this energy. You know what I'm saying? He would he the type that probably would have went to the P Diddy party and kept it a secret. You know what I'm saying? He would have never said nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a <laughs> But with that being said, y'all, I just, I just, you know, I, I, I try not to say nothing about him because, like, y'all get the point by now. He's a capper. But if some new come up, I got to speak on it because it's just getting ridiculous. You know, he didn't lie more than, than, than I didn't I didn't I didn't expose a lot of cappers before, man. And he's the worst one so far. The worst one. And the bad part about it is his mother and him really supports it. His mom really went on Facebook making a whole post about me talking about my son is too. He, he's too good to reply to you. He's this and that. Her son was making posts about me the same day. Made like five, six, seven story posts about me. You know what I'm saying? They just be lying. Even Sheila. Like that's where he get it from. You know what I'm saying? So he was raised like that. Unfortunately, it's sad, you know, but sad things happen. You know, it is what it is. But with that being said, y'all, um, we also got Nani. OK, so Nani. If y'all don't know Nani, she has uh, three children. Um, she, she was always pretty cool and things of that nature. Um, I just think Nani, um, just like a lot of other girls, you know, life didn't do them too well. And they think that doing anything is the best thing to do. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they think that now that they at this point just F it. Like, they didn't already been, they didn't already have sex with this amount of many people or whatever. Just F it. You feel what I'm saying? And they and that is the crowd that they choose to go to, even though they know it's no good for them. They know they shouldn't be doing it. They choose to go down a worse path. I do not know what's wrong with these people. Do I have a problem with this woman? No. But what I did notice is she just kept choosing to do go left instead of right. You feel what I'm saying? It's like these girls keep trying to do the same thing, hoping they get something different. You got these kids or you got these amount of bodies from having sexual intercourse with all these different dudes and what was the result you got left with nothing so they figure maybe if i keep doing it something different will happen <laughs> maybe if i go make maybe if i start telling niggas they gotta pay make only fans or shake my ass a little more i get a different type of man and maybe he will actually this one will pay for my bills because i need a nigga to pay for some if you ain't talking no money, you can't. These women are putting their self at a value 
that they don't have instead of working to get that value. They'd rather take the cheapest option and be the lowest version of themselves and go do these things. And it gets them nowhere, y'all. Just think about it. Who in a goddamn right mind is going to take off their y'all? If I saw if if you saw a girl right now and you told her, hey man, listen, I'll give you sixty dollars. Let me see you strip booty naked for me. She'll look at you like, what did you just say to me? But they are only fans for 30, 40 dollars a month. A month. You know what I'm saying? But you will see them and they act like they can't strip for you for a 60 ball. So it don't make no sense. Like, is you is you this or is you not? You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't make no sense. But I'm going to say the same thing I tell all women. Respect yourself and you're going to get respect. If you do not respect yourself, you cannot expect anybody to respect you. You feel what I'm saying? And if you want to dig yourself in a deeper hole, and y'all, I'm going just, to just call it what it is. They want to be bigger whores than what they were. You feel me? These girls who are acting like they're so comfortable with their bodies and I love my body. I'm 25. I love my body. I'm 23. I love my body so much. I'm just going to show it off naked and wear naked shit outside. And yeah, I love my. No, it's a sign of you've been beat down. You've been beat down so much in this inside so much because yeah, it wasn't the way you thought your whole life was. I'm going to show my body. You feel what I'm saying? If any man tried to even see a nipple, you'd go crazy before. Now, you're freely showing it, which shows you've been beat down so much, you don't even care about yourself no more. You don't care about nothing. Subscribe, I don't care about nothing no more. It had already destroyed me enough. But these same people will cry later. It makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. Like, do you want to get better or not? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But this is the same story them all. And I, I promise you, they all will have the same story in their 30s. Every last one of them will have the same story in their 30s. Because you're only making it harder. You think somebody's actually going to come and scoop you off your feet and feel like you're worth something and you have nothing to show your worth. These girls just don't want to work hard these days. They get tired and want to take the easiest route. Oh, oh, I'm going to just lay on my back. Yeah, I don't want to go work. I, I can't find a job. Things are just too hard. It's too stressful. I'm going to just lay on my back. Yeah, yeah, nigga going to pay for this coochie as if it's different than the gazillion coochies in the world. You feel what I'm saying? It makes no sense. You're making yourself look so horrible. The, the, the biggest thing you got to yourself is your name. So as a woman, once you destroy your name and become known as a smut or a whore or an OnlyFans girl, it destroys your name. No woman in her right mind is going to go on there unless they hurting. Now, there's 1% of women who probably are doing it that don't need to do it as far as financially, but they are. But that's 1%. 99 of the other percent really need it financially, and they, it was literally a last resort for them. That's why they're doing it. Because they got beat down too much. They don't care about their kids. They don't care about family. They don't care about friends. The only people they care about is whoever encourages them to do it. If you're not encouraging me to be a whore, get out of my face. <laughs> They'd be like, if you're not encouraging me to be a whore and, and be naked, get out of my face. You don't like Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion? Get out of my face. Make it, <laughs> make this make sense, man. It's the Matrix. Where the stuff that's known as normal just, just 10 years ago would have been crazy. This just 10 years ago would have been mind blown. Can you imagine 10 years ago? Somebody coming out. Hold on. She got OnlyFans. She been, everybody would have looked at that girl as, oh my gosh, she's a whore. And do you think 10 years later that they think anything different? No. The only thing that has changed is they've made you comfortable with doing it. Back then, motherfucker, motherfucker was so embarrassed they had to sneak to do shit like that. They hope nobody found nowadays they didn't give you the confidence to be confident in it. Listen, just just love yourself. Be confident. Go on there, strip, get 40 bucks a month, and be confident. You're worth something. You know what I'm saying? Make this make sense. You're worth something. You you think that when you go to bed. No, you don't. So you can't come online confusing living this fake life. Because you have to actually live in real life you do want a man every last one of them girls that say that oh, I, I, I don't care about this I'm, I'm just living my they really do want a man and actually they're hurting because they don't have one in real life
in real life, not on social media. They ain't going to tell you because they have to flip the script. It's a fake world on there. You feel what I'm saying? But with that being said, yeah, I was asked, like, why did I comment on a post? I commented on the post because you're encouraging women to be whores. That's a problem. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's like if there was rules, wait, hold on, you encouraging. It's either I block you or say something to you because we're friends on social media. So it's either I block you or I say something. Hey, you're over there sharing posts that's going to make my cousin turn into a whore. Can you stop that? You know what I'm saying? Can you stop that? But they won't find that as disrespectful. So that's why I just come on here and I tell you how I feel. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, people just be acting confused and like, I don't got no issue with nobody, but I'm just going to say it is what it is. Now, if you do better, then you're going to get better. Motherfucker be like, why well, I always keep hearing my name on your show? Because you always in some. <laughs> you always in doing, you always doing horror shit. That's why you always on the show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You weren't on the show a few years ago. You probably had a boyfriend back. You probably had whatever. But now that you don't have one, you just, man, listen, y'all. A lot of these women is chickens with their heads cut off without a man. I'm telling you, man, a lot of these girls is chickens with their heads cut off without a real man in their life. Man. They'll be out here drinking, smoking, twerking, and having sex and hoping that some man will talk to them, feel sorry for them, and pay their bills. They'll run you the same sob story they'll run the next person, hoping that you'll do something for them. They out here trying to play men, thinking that God gonna bless them. How y'all out here trying to play men, looking at men like a dollar sign, and hoping that one day God will bless you and just, why am I going through this? Why is life just so hard for me? I don't understand it. I mean, I, all I do is be a good person. I twerk a little bit, but that's nothing. I mean, I, I mean, I have sex with and talk to different guys, but that's nothing. I'm a great person. Like, I don't do anything to nobody. I have sex on a low. Like, I don't be in people's it doesn't make you a good person, but God see it. We don't got to see it, but God see it. Y'all heard earlier when Aaliyah Rogers said, name five niggas I had sex with. Name five niggas I had sex with. I can't name five niggas you had sex with, but God know. You know. You know the 20 niggas you had sex with. I don't got to know five. You know, and we can tell by how you move in that. You, you know what I'm saying? That's like somebody walking outside. You see licks keep coming up to the house. Licks just keep running in and out. You ain't never seen them sell drugs, but the nigga cars just keep pulling up. He, you gonna assume he's selling drugs, right? Somebody might tip the police off. Hey man, it's a lot of traffic at this house. I might want to check it out. So when we keep seeing whores twerking and twerking and twerking and twerking and twerking, smoking weed, drinking, turning up, turning up, wearing naked shit to reveal their body. Guess what that screams? Hey man, it, hey shorty might be a whore over there. That's what it screams. So when we look at you like that, how can you blame us for looking at you like that when that's what you showed us? The girl was like, y'all don't know me, though. Like, y'all don't even really know me, duh. We don't know you. We never asked to know you. We don't care to know you. But you posted this, which is social media, and we're friends on here, so we're going to check it out. And from all things that you post, this is what we know of you. That's the image you put out there. Just like people don't, you don't know me like you probably could know me, but you know me on here as the show host. I might go at it with this and that person. I might teach you some here and there. That's the image I gave off. You might know I love God. That's the image I gave off. You feel what I'm saying? And the image they giving off is detrimental to their health. You feel what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, y'all, let's keep going. So with that being said, we got Mari. Uh, Mari, Mari Jordan. She's in a, the private group. Uh, she, She's always speaking on me. I don't know what's up with her. I don't know her at all. Um, but so she just got exposed by somebody earlier. Um, she got exposed because she was on there talking stuff and she was all in this person inbox asking for them to borrow a dollar and stuff like that. Can I borrow a dollar? Can I borrow two dollars? Like this girl, somebody really exposed her today, posted screenshots like you need to worry about something else. OK, you need to worry about something else. But um, with that being said, y'all, uh, the last thing I wanted to show you, I say was the fight that happened between Tootie. Is her name Tootie? I think they call her Tootie, man. Uh, but I'm going to give that its own separate video, but I'm going to still speak on it. Like, I'm going to actually show the video and, and all that on its own video, but I want to uh, tell y'all about it. 
If you don't know Tootie, she be on some gang banging freak type time. Like <laughs> I said, gang banging freak type time. You hear me? She be acting like she thorough and she's tough. And I, I thought she was. I said she got this little tomboyish going on. She might be the girl up, man. She embarrassed herself today. I mean, not today, but a few days ago, man. I was highly disappointed. Um, definitely lost a few points with me. I'm still like, I don't have no problem, with her, but she lost a few points like of me trusting her fighting skills. Like she was running and all like. I said, what is she doing? I thought she was like gangster. Like, you know what I'm saying? She got beat up by Damar. I think that was Damar J little sister that beat you up. And like, man, I, listen, I talked to somebody about it on the phone today. And nigga was like, yo, did you see that, Joe? She was beating her. I said, yeah, she was. You can't have that on your name, man. You, be, I, I saw you on live talking a lot of stuff, man, about Karma Tate, man. You got to bounce back. I believe in you. You could bounce back, man. Stop all the they talking about you be out here being around. You got y'all gotta clear your names, man, and get right. You feel what I'm saying? But uh with that being said though, I just wanted to come over here and make sure I uh rocked with y'all at some point tonight. Um, and with that being said, I know y'all heard of probably OJ Simpson passing away and things of that nature. You guys will see videos come out about that, but it's a lot of strange things going on, man. I don't know if y'all even seen Kodak Black, but it's a whole lot of strange things going on there too. But Expect a lot of videos, man. I dropped a new video today, the Casey Larry Part 2. Definitely check it out. But uh, more videos on the way, man. That's all I could really say. Uh, I'll be dropping one or two videos tomorrow, but expect one or two every day. And I will be live again tomorrow. All right, so make sure you got your notification bell on. I'm going to be live tomorrow early, 8.30, 9 o'clock. I might even come live on here at 1 p.m., 2 p.m. So just put your notification bell on. AP Rejuvenation, this uh excuse me, aprejuvenation.com. If you're feeling any type of ill, you ain't feeling right, go check us out and give us a try, man. And uh you might experience something you ain't experienced before. So definitely uh hit the link in the description. But any questions before I hop out, y'all? Let me take this, and y'all probably have a hard time seeing me because I got this uh goddamn uh thing going. That's why it was harder for y'all to see me. Uh, uh, just one sec. Somebody said, "Crack the fuck up." You wanted to add me in this topic so bad. Like, let's please not act like you never mind. But anyways, I ain't do the damn challenge. Why am I being brought up at all? So the reason that you was brought up is because I think I explained that part as well. You goddamn uh made a post encouraging girls. And matter of fact, since you're a little confused, I'll show it tomorrow when i go live since uh you don't know what i'm referring to but i'm gonna show it but unfortunately you just you just keep choosing the wrong route but that's the life you chose so you just gotta deal with that you feel what i'm saying but with that being said though yeah i don't know specifically what you said but you shared a post um and i'm gonna put it up there for sure i got the screenshot of it but yeah man you got you gotta do better than that just because you weren't twerking i ain't i don't think that had nothing to do with you nothing um you just engaging with all the people that's talking bad about me and then you go sharing posts is that align with the person that i'm speaking on and then you're on only fans with the person i'm speaking on like it's just like it's just like when you see stuff like that you just can only imagine what things that that person has done you know what i'm saying but until next time y'all I'm going to see y'all on here tomorrow. I'm also dropping two vids. Make sure y'all check them out. I'm going to leave y'all with some outro videos. I mean, songs. Until next time, though, y'all. Peace.